Hey guys and welcome to Heart of Gastro. In today's video, we will be exploring what you need to know about a vitamin B1 deficiency, which is also commonly known as a thiamine deficiency. So vitamin B1, also known as thiamine, is a vitamin that plays a key role in several important health functions. Not getting enough of it through our diet can lead to a thiamine deficiency. This deficiency is also commonly known as beriberi, usually in cases when it's very severe and chronic. So like other B vitamins, thiamine is a water-soluble vitamin, meaning it dissolves in water. We need to consume thiamine on a regular basis because our bodies can only store around 20 days worth of thiamine at any given time. Fortunately, thiamine is naturally found in a variety of foods, including enriched white rice or egg noodles, fortified breakfast cereals, pork, trout, black beans, sunflower seeds, macadamia nuts, acorn squash, yogurt, bread varieties, and corn and lentils. Not getting enough thiamine can lead to a thiamine deficiency, which can happen in as little as three weeks and affect your heart, nervous system, and immune system. The normal blood range of vitamin B1 is 2.5 to 7.5 micrograms per deciliter. Any value lower than this is considered to be deficient. So signs and symptoms of a thiamine deficiency can be easy to overlook as they can be non-specific and vague, sometimes mimicking symptoms of other conditions. A loss of appetite can occur and this is because thiamine plays a key role in regulating hunger and the fullness cues that are sent to the brain. This means that inadequate stores of thiamine, meaning a thiamine deficiency, will disrupt how well this process works, making one feel full even when they may not actually be. Being deficient in thiamine will also show up as fatigue or tiredness. This is because thiamine plays an important role in converting food to energy. Therefore, not having enough thiamine in the body means that one cannot produce as much energy to use as fuel. Having a thiamine deficiency can also cause some changes in one's mood, such as making one more irritable or easily upset. Feeling irritable is often among the earliest signs and symptoms of a thiamine deficiency, and this is because of several functional changes in neurotransmission that occur in a thiamine deficiency most notably among the glutamergic and gabamergic systems, resulting in a toxic neuroexcitory state. 